Welcome to the Pharma Voice Editor's Take video series, recorded live at the DIA 2014 Annual Meeting in San Diego, hosted by Taryn Grom, Editor of Pharma Voice. In this episode, Taryn meets with Ann Zielinski, Global Lead Patient Cloud MediData Solutions. Ann, welcome to the 50th anniversary of the DIA. Thank you, I'm delighted to be here. We would like to ask you what trends you are seeing in the world of patient reported outcomes. Patient reported outcomes continue to be important in clinical trials. We see about 65% of trials that collect patient reported outcomes doing them electronically, which means that there's still 35% that are done on paper. Um, we also see that um, about 60% of trials have some aspect of patient reported outcomes. That's growing. Uh, we see it differs by phase. So phase one is less than some of the later phases, but across all phases we see that there's an increased emphasis on getting self-report from patients. I love those statistics. It shows that the industry is moving towards technology to increase efficiency, so that's great. There's been a lot of talk about patients using their own smartphones and tablets in clinical trials. What are your thoughts? There's a lot of interest in the industry, and you can understand why. If I drive down the street without my phone, I'll probably go back and get it. And so if that's the way that I was providing data um, as a participant in a clinical trial, it would make a lot of sense for me to be using that. On the other hand, we, you know, it's very early for patients to be using their own devices. Not all apps that are uh, written to collect patient reported outcomes work on all platforms, all operating systems, or those that do require continual connectivity, which isn't realistic. Um, go into the subway in New York or into the woods or at the beach and it's very likely that you may lose connectivity. So it's a wonderful idea. We're seeing lots of interest, particularly from the innovation groups at Big Pharma, uh, as well as smaller companies that want to find more efficient ways to conduct clinical trials. Um, and, and we're looking forward to the maturation of the technologies to be able to make bring your own device to reality. I think you've hit on two, three very important points, and I think that um, the uptake will be more exponential as we go forward and technology continues to advance, no doubt. How do you see the process of capturing patient-reported outcomes changing in that light? In general, we're going to see more and more emphasis on getting data directly from patients. Even data that's collected now at sites, I think we're going to see moving to the patients when they can report it easily in a way that's integrated into their daily lives. We'll see the process shift a bit from site data capture to more and more captured directly from patients, whether it's on, de, on uh, smartphones or tablets, or maybe even biometric devices, monitors that uh, collect uh, movement or blood pressure or glucose readings or things like that. So, uh, so in general, we're going to see more and more patients doing that, and we're going to see more and more trials looking to include data from patients to support not just primary and secondary endpoints, but also reimbursement so that when drugs are marketed, there's some evidence that in fact patients will use them, not just that they're efficacious and safe. Metadata has always been at the forefront of innovation in terms of technology. Now you have an ePro offering. Please tell us about it. The patient cloud is metadata's uh, entree into patient reported outcomes. But the patient cloud is a little bit different than what people know as ePro. So we're really trying to take ePro to new places and to be able to offer it in, um, in a manner that works better for all parties involved. 
so from being able to configure it as part of the EDC setup with no additional time uh, to being able to use uh, patients' own phones or commercially available devices even for patients or sites who don't have tablets so that specialized devices don't need to be provided. Um, and then having that data as part of the integrated platform. So we can really view the patient cloud as just another way to get data into RAVE. It's sort of like an iceberg where 80% of what happens is in the platform and it's the 20% that you see in the app. The app is in the iPhone store right now, so if you go there and search on metadata, you can download it. Of course, unless you're enrolled in a trial using Metadata Rave, you won't have any forms to fill out. It's exciting. Congratulations. Thanks. Let's talk about one of the hot topics of the at this show and has been in the industry for um, the last 18 months or so, patient, patient centricity and engagement. Big topic, what's your perspective? Well, obviously the voice of the patient is something that everybody wants to hear more loudly and more clearly than in the past. Patients themselves are advocating for that, regulators are advocating for that, and so we as an industry need to pay attention to that. And we need to reduce the patient burden because participating in trials, face it, it's a burden. Patients are doing humanity a favor by, by participating, and I think it's incumbent upon us to make their participation as, as uh, burden-free as possible. So I see that being a big emphasis, making things available, easy to use, an emphasis on user interfaces, um, and I think we'll see it come in all, all sorts of ways, both in gathering data from patients and in providing data and information back to them that can help them in their participation. And thank you so much for joining us today for our Editors Take Video program. Fantastic insights. Thank you. Pleasure to chat with you. Additional Editors Take Videos, as well as podcasts, white papers, webinars, and more are available at www.pharmavoice.com.